Stimulus package funding begins rolling in and nursing homes slated for a 2.3% Medicare pay hike for 2021. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Providers have been asking the federal government for additional funds as they incur significant costs in response to the coronavirus pandemic. And the government responded last Friday by releasing a portion of funding from the $2 trillion stimulus package known as the CARE Act. From the CARE Act stimulus package, the federal government released the first $30 billion of $100 billion allotted for health care last Friday. CMS Administrator Seema Verma announced that the funding would be on the way for hospitals earlier in the week, while skilled nursing providers speculated that their portion should also be on the way. Robin Hillier, financial consultant and founder of RLH Consulting, explained that the funding is 6.2% of last year's Medicare reimbursements for her facility and will cover about 60% of payroll. Payment expert Karen Adams noted that $1.5 billion will be distributed directly to skilled nursing facilities within a week. She says, quote, they are saying no strings attached and it will be based on Medicare revenue. Nursing homes would receive a 2.3% net Medicare increase for fiscal year 2021 under a proposal announced by CMS late Friday afternoon. The $784 million aggregate pay boost drew immediate praise from providers. The increase is the byproduct of a 2.7% market basket increase reduced by 0.4% reduction for multi-factor productivity adjustment. CMS also said it was proposing revised geographic delineations used to identify a provider's status as an urban or rural facility. They would be used to, quote, calculate the wage index and apply a 5% cap to wage index decreases. The rule also includes minor administrative proposals related to the skilled nursing facility value-based purchasing program, the agency said. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.